Welcome to another video of SyncPrix. In today's video, I'll be talking about one of the best open source OS for 2022, Elementary OS 6. I'll give you a quick review of Elementary OS 6. Elementary OS is said to be an ethical replacement of Mac OS and Windows. It is Linux distribution based on Ubuntu LTS. I must say it is best Linux distribution choice for the beginners. The operating system, desktop environment and applications are developed and maintained by Elementary. Let us see how we can download and install Elementary OS. Go to google.com and look for the Elementary OS, the thoughtful, capable and ethical replacement of Windows and Mac OS. So this is the screen that looks like Mac OS. You can get to know quickly about all these features here. So you can have the music, web, mail, photos, videos, calendar, file, terminal, code, and a camera. If you go to blog, you'll be able to see that version 7.0 was expected to launch in April 2022. They are already working on it, and I'm sure that this will be released soon. This is totally built on Ubuntu 22.04, and as it has been released already, so they are wrapping up 7.0, and it will be launched soon. We can give a little contribution to it. I will just contribute $5. Now I can download Elementary OS. So here you can see it is 2.5 GB. I have already got the email from Elementary, $5. So this has been confirmed by them. And I can download it again in case the installation stops here. Now I'll be taking you to developer section here. So if you are a developer and you can publish your apps in the App Center, you can log in with GitHub and then start contributing to the apps. The file has been downloaded. So here is my file, which is stable version. Now you have to write this to USB using Balena Etcher. So Balena Etcher is installed here. The image size is almost 2.6 GB. So you need to make sure that the USB flash disk that you choose should be 2.6 GB minimum. So flash from file. Select the target flash disk USB drive, which is 8.18 GB. So this is already formatted. So pre-formatted is there and then flash it. Just wait for this to complete. So it will take some time. The flash is completed already. Let us check what are the recommended system specifications. So if I click here, you will get to know that they are recommending 4 GB of RAM, then SSD at least 32 GB and 64 bit processor minimum Intel Core i5. And then it also recommends to have the built in wired mouse and keyboard. Internet access must be there in order to make sure that it gets connected to internet and gets the update. And then you will need to spare USB flash drive, at least 4 GB of this. So developers are not recommending to use virtual machine for the installation because this is an operating system. It's a desktop operating system. It is better to use in a hardware system, desktop or laptop. Now I'll be just booting it. Booting this from the disk now. First of all, the option is language. So I'll be choosing language English, United States. I'll be installing the English keyboard next and then the layout. Layout will be English International. Either you want to check the demo mode. So you can erase the disk and install this into your uh, computer or you can do the custom install. You can resize the disk or manage the partition. So I'll be going with the erase disk and install. I'll choose the disk here which disk i want to use for the installation you can do the drive encryption also here so i'll not be choosing drive encryption for the time being extracting the file creating the partition we'll be just waiting for this to complete okay, now entire disk has been copied to the hard disk and now i'll be so after choosing the language options i'll be choosing my name here Here we are, this is the first look of the operating system and you can see here that it gives us the basic guide how you can configure and set up. Get started. Now you can see this is the desktop environment, ethical replacement of the Mac OS and Windows. On the deck you can have the Windows, Music, Calendar, Tasks and Web Browser. And this is the multitasking view so in case you want to have multiple desktops you can have it the app center which will in fact update all the applications which are available so if i go home screen you can see here all the categories of all the applications are available right from accessories audio development finance communication education games and graphics 
the moment I open system settings, you can see here the applications, desktop, language, notification, security, privacy, and all other applications are available here. Network configuration, you can simply click here, you will get the IP address from the DHCP in case you want to connect it using the VPN you can do that also you can add the VPN profiles from here if you want to change the date and time setting click on date and time and then you can choose your current location based on the current location it will automatically detect your date and time settings all the options are universal these are similar to how the operating system has been working and the hardware and firmware can be seen here you can look at those options also notification center you can see how you want to get the notifications bubble sound notification center in case you want to disable the notifications you can do that as well go back to the settings online accounts in case you want to connect to any of the online account you can connect with CalDAV and imap imap will help you to connect to your email accounts and your contact profile we'll go back to settings here and look for the user accounts in case you want to add any other user you can just click here plus sign and add the user here and authenticate so all the settings are very simple and very easy anyone who has never used any operating system previously or any person who is new to use the computers they will be easily able to understand the operating system in case you want to change the system resolution you can click on display and then with the help of display you can change the night mode or display and you can simply change your display settings here you can change the resolution here if your kids are using this computer you can limit the screen time so I'll, I'll create a new user here child1 and password and create the user once the user is created then you can go back here and give the screen time access so I'll be enabling it for this child and I'll, I'll enable weekdays and weekends <music> This is the screen time and in case you want to restrict the internet for various websites you can add the url of that if you want to restrict specific applications so you can choose this from the app center i can click here on top right corner and i can either suspend the account lock the lock the screen log out suspend or shut down so i'll log out so you can see here child account is also here in case i want to log in with the child account because it is not allowed to log in at this time so I'll not be able to log in so if in case I want to log in using my account so I'll be able to log in so in order to access the application you can go here on the top left corner these are all the applications which are available in the system you can remove these applications from the deck by just dragging and dropping it on the desktop so these will all be removed from here so by this all the applications will be removed if I go here to applications I can click here and look for all the applications which are available in the system add this to deck multitasking add to this deck and and this is how the deck will be having all the applications which you want to frequently use and applications will be available here you can search the application by clicking the search button here and look for the tasks pause i hope in this video you were able to understand elementary os 6.1 thoughtful capable and ethical replacement for windows and mac os so this lightweight operating system will help you to stay productive and focused it's very intuitive in design and very light hope you like this video see you in next video take care and goodbye